Hello. In this short video, I am going to show you how to create Android device simulator. Uh, so I'm using the latest Android Studio available today. So first of all, I would like to make sure that all uh, installation packages uh, installed completely. For this purpose, I have to check uh, Tools, SDK Manager. So please select uh, Android SDK Manager content. Uh, you see here I have uh, SDK platform Android 9 installed and you have a couple of partial platforms installed. But for Android emulator, you need to check SDK tools. So in the SDK tools, you have to check that Android emulator is uh, selected here and installed. Android SDK platform tools installed and Android SDK tools itself also installed. It looks like we have update for Android emulator, but I'm not going to install this update because this update is not uh, extremely critical. Close. So to install Android emulator, I have to go back again to tools. I choose Android virtual device manager, which is uh, briefly AVD manager on the top. Select. And this is a menu uh, to create your virtual devices if you didn't have anything before. So virtual devices allow you to test the application without having to own the physical device. So press on plus. So in this case, you have to choose the category TV, phone, Wear OS, tablet. Of course, we will stay in the phone. And for this purpose, you have to choose any of the name and configuration. Uh, for our particular course, we will try to stay with the Nexus 5X. So this is a phone that has a Play Store. Uh, this is the size and this is resolution and density. So please next. So in this abbreviation, you see that you can uh, choose uh, any release name for the phone, for the Pi. Uh, it will be uh, API 28, Oro 27. Um, I will go with Nuga 25. So if you have the link here, download, you have to press download previously. Since I do not have this link, I download it already. So just select this phone and press next. So this is the name of the device. We will keep the same. Um, yeah, and we just simply press next. Um, just finish when you're done with the device. So device is ready right now and you can launch device from here. You can edit device here or delete if you are not happy with this. Also, you can wipe data, um, do some kind of uh, check details uh, that provide you um, some kind of list of things. So let's run right now. Uh, pressing this button. So alternatively, device can start when you run the project as well, but uh, we can start device and check how it works independently. So finally, device is almost ready. And uh, you see that device is uh, active at this moment. So if you want to run the project, uh, for example, for this particular project, I have a simple project here. Um, I press this green button, maze device is uh, in the list of connected devices and press OK. It takes some time and Gradle build uh, run and finished. So since device is ready, you just need to wait when your program will be ready to, um, ex to be executed. Yeah, so project works right now. So you, you can minimize the device and uh, every time device, uh, it's a good idea to keep device active. So what's happen if you if you want alternative device? Uh, is it possible to have more than one uh, virtual device? Yeah, that's absolutely possible. If you go here to AVD manager, um, you see this device. And you create another one if you want. Uh, the button create uh, another virtual device. Let's 
go right now with uh, a little bit smaller device, maybe Nexus One. Uh, for Nexus One, we have available Marshmallow and Lollipop. So, or, and Oreo as well. Let's go with uh, some device from the previous version, like Marshmallow. The version is 6.0. And uh, right now, uh, you see the AVD name is, will be different from, from this AVD, and press finish. So right now you should have two devices right now. One is Nexus 5, another is Nexus 1. Um, if you're not happy with any of those devices, you can always uh, delete device. So let's close uh, your virtual device uh, window and uh, try to run application again. So when you run devices, you see one device is connected, another device, device is not available. So basically you can close active device and both devices will be disconnected right now and try right now Nexus 1. So please note for the first time uh, it takes a while to run device, maybe from 5 to 10 minutes uh, to have device active. So when you're done with this, uh, device will be active and install your uh, Android APK. So now installing SPK and now the successful uh, end. So you can choose which device to run. Uh, when you press again, if you press another device, uh, it will be a little bit uh, pressure on your computing environment. So we are waiting for target device to come online right now. So your device is almost ready. Uh, let's see what happened. So it's installing a PK right now and the result will be ready in a moment. All right, so we have the same application runnable in both devices, which was successful. Um, also, we can try to run this from here. And you see result, result will be almost identical, but please note that uh, the size for the screen is different, right? So we slightly see the different, um, uh, different execution. Okay, so it was a video how to create uh, Android emulator, and that's pretty much all for this video. Thanks a lot.